Hi, this is Pastor Rick, and I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going on around us in our communities. Um, we're living in a really tough time in these United States of America and around the world as well. And it's, uh, it's tough when I see people mistreating one another, angry at one another, destroying things, they even destroy their own communities, uh, which I don't understand probably never will, but I wondered oftentimes, why is it that people act like that? I mean, why do people tear up things and act in ways that are just ungodly? There's a scripture in Psalm 1 that says, How blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. And I was thinking, one reason I don't think like that and want to cause disturbance and I never want to do anything to harm one of my neighbors, of course, is because I read the Bible on a regular basis and it has taught me a lot of things that I should do and warned me about things I should not be doing. And when it says here, how blessed is the man who doesn't walk in the counsel of the wicked, got to stop and think, why is it that it would say the counsel of the wicked? Well, the wicked is a person who has rejected God, is living a life of rebellion, and undoubtedly doesn't have that much love or concern for anyone else around him or her. Uh, that's why we call them wicked. And that could be me, it could be you, if we didn't have God's help to go the right way. It says, how blessed is the man who doesn't walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. You know what it says about that? He will be like a tree, firmly planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither, and in whatever he does, he prospers. I want you to know if you're struggling in life, there is an alternative, and that's to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, to live in ways that are pleasing to Him, to put other people before yourself, walking not in the counsel of those who are wicked and do harm, but being a person who is like a tree firmly planted by streams of water. The Word of God is like living water. It contain, the Bible contains words of life. If you've discovered that for yourself, you know what I'm talking about. If you have not yet discovered that, you need to try God for a change. There's nothing else in this world that could compare with having a relationship with Him. About the wicked who reject God, it says the wicked are not so. They don't prosper, but they're like chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Friend, you need to make a choice. Life or death, righteousness or wickedness. It's your choice. You have to make the right choice for yourself. I certainly hope you'll trust and choose faith in the Lord himself. I love you and so does he. Good day.